Hey, I'm Michael. I work at RethinkDB, and this is the 111 release. We've got a lot of cool features in this one, especially for people trying to run RethinkDB in live environments. Um, one of the biggest is that we've made a lot of uh, major latency improvements across several different queries, but most especially for streaming queries involving large documents. So if you've had latency problems with RethinkDB before, I'd encourage you to try the 111 release and see whether they're fixed. Also, remember to update your drivers, too, because we've made some improvements to them as well. So another cool thing we've done is we've added a lot of commands that DevOps people have been clamoring for for a while. For instance, we added the index status command, which lets you get the status of a secondary index that's partway through being created. And finally, we've added a developer preview of a new query language profiler we've been working on, which we're pretty excited about. It'll show you things like which parts of your queries are taking the most time, or which parts are being done in parallel on the shards versus eagerly on the node handling the query. And there's a bunch of other stuff we want to add in the future too, like visualizations or profiling for memory usage as well as CPU time. But we wanted to get a sort of uh, early version out for developers so that we could get feedback on what parts of the profile are most useful or what parts you want to see in it very quickly. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so we're here in the Data Explorer and I've set up a table test already. So if I just run this query and get a batch of results from the table test, you'll see that there's a new tab query profile over here on the right. If I click on that, it gives me the option to enable the query profiler. And now it'll be on every time I run a query until I turn it off again. So let me run this query again with the query profiler on. And you can see that it returns the profile. So the interesting thing about this query is that it takes very little time on the server and takes a lot of time going over the network. And that's because we're sending a lot of data over the network, and networks are slow. If I instead do, say, a count query, you can see the profile shows that the round trip time is much closer to the server time. And that's because we're only sending over a single number rather than a giant batch of data. So that's the query profiler. Uh, we hope you like it. We'd love to hear feedback about what you do and don't like about it or what you really want to be in it or don't need in it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy what we think to be 111.